Kuzi, a great first quarter where you guys made everything you threw up. I think you guys made your first nine shots. What happened after that? Um, <clears throat> I mean, we hung in there for most of the game. Um, you know, we just had a lot of like little things, missed free throws, uh, turnovers, um, you know, missed box outs, you know, just stuff that we could have controlled to, you know, alter that, you know, column. So. All right, third quarter, they go up by 15. You guys are able to come back and cut it to four. What got, what got you back in the game? Uh, just turning our defense into our offense, getting out transition and running. Um, you know, Utah is a, a slow team, you know, the, with pace-wise, and um, we want to play fast, and, you know, we thought you know, we could hurt them by doing that, and we did. Um, no Lonzo, no Ingram, no Isaiah. What's the biggest challenge trying to get a win without all those playmakers? Um, you know, just playing as hard as possible, not turning the ball over. Um, I think that's just the biggest thing. You know, if, if we're doing that, you know, I feel like we can beat anybody without those guys regardless. You know, we just got to play the right way. What's your reaction to the reception you got here from when you were introduced, the place went nuts. Every time you scored, it almost felt like a home game to me. Mm-hmm. Um, how'd that make you feel, and did it surprise you? Uh, it's always cool to come back here. Um, you know, I, I really – Pretty much grew up here, uh, maturity-wise. You know, being here in Utah, and um, you know, just has a place in my heart. So, um, you know, just really special to have, you know, reception like that, and see that people, you know, kind of still remember me. So, Kyle, this is a question I've asked you off and on all year. I've asked everybody in the room. I think you guys lost by seven. You missed twelve free throws. Is that a fixable problem, or at the point you guys are what you are when it comes to shooting free throws? I think it's fixable. I mean, I missed five of them today. Um, you know, it's just all just mentality thing, getting up there and stepping up um, and, you know, hitting shots. So, You think you can get better? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to be tough to get better in four games, like percentage-wise. But, um, I mean, I think we can, you know, do it for sure. Mm-hmm. Now, as hard as it's been for you guys to kind of withstand all the injuries you've had, on a personal level, has it been fun for you to go out there every night knowing there's 40-plus minutes for you? to go out and, and try to perform? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I love competing and being out there, playing as much as I can, you know. I love it, you know. I love this game and, um, you know, it's fun to, you know, be out there and, you know, play free and, you know, running and, you know, get tired, so. You don't get tired? No, I'm saying, you know, it's fun to get tired, you know, and play that many <laughs> minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about all the non-basketball stuff this year? How's that gone? Have you enjoyed that part of it? Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, it's a little more so being in L.A. than, you know, somewhere else, like a small market. But, you know, I love it. Uh, don't take it for granted. So it's great. Are you, you – I know we asked you this a few games ago, but are you feeling the minutes at all at this point? Nope. Okay. Not at all. Mm-hmm. feel great. Uh, Kyle, I talked to you, uh, Coach K, a couple months ago, and he said that one thing that was really good for you developmental-wise was the space that you got back for the three-point line, like a further three-point line really helped you out. Uh, what are some of the other things that you feel like over the course of the season have been um, improvements for you? Um, I mean, this is really the first time, uh, you know, being on the perimeter more, playing, you know, a uh, small four position. Um, you know, coaches, Coach Walton gives me a lot of freedom to, you know, play my game and puts me in different spots. And you know, I think that's just the biggest thing development-wise uh, in my game because I've never really played it until, you know, these past couple months. So, I mean, how do you feel that you have – I mean, you got a season under your belt now. How do you feel that you've, that you've done so far? Can you categorize your – or can you grade your rookie season so far? Um, I'll let you know after four more games. Uh, still a lot more games to go. Um, you know, could play terrible and, you know, be – whatever, you know, so it's still, you know, more basketball to play, so.